So, next mission is called Forging Bonds. Everything looks okay on stream. Objective, Admiral, your new assignment is to patrol the Algera system. The true way considers themselves to be the true leaders of Kardashia. A sort of government in exile. As far as the Federation and the Kardashian uh, the Tapa Council are concerned, they're little better than terrorists. The true way has been harassing ships throughout the sector, but the Algira system seems to be a focal point for their activity. Salfreight wants to know why. Patrol the system and assist any ships in trouble. Maybe the presence of the Grotius in the area will convince the true way uh, that their campaign against the Federation is more trouble than it's worth. A decent amount of skill points for this one as compared to the other missions. Okay, the it looks like the Sovereign look is very, very dark. Uh, barely see the designation, USS Grotius, and the other stuff. Mm. Um, Hayden says, damn, I wish I could play STO right now. Well, why can't you? <laughs> is it because you're watching the stream? If so, then thank you very much. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, warp to the thingamabob. Forging bonds, make primary. We're going to have to pay 20k, but it's worth it for expediency's sake. And I'm going to need to drink some water or I'm going to start talking like this. So... The desperate men and women of the True Way have turned to one of the Federation's greatest foes in an attempt to hold sway over Cardassia Prime. Starfleet must infiltrate into the heart of the New Dominion and douse the flames of war before they consume the entire quadrant. Thank you very much, Mr. Spock, for that little intervention. Let's see. The colony at Algira Prime is isolated by a thick asteroid belt. The high levels of Kelbonite and Fistrium. I am going to try not to make fisting puns. In the belt block subspace communications and most ships tend to avoid the area. The Bajoran Ministry of Commerce offers a premium uh, to transport ships that will brave the risks to keep the Algira colonists supplied and connected to the rest of the quadrant. Begin. <clears throat> Hums. There we go, our new fancy sovereign class. Admiral, we are receiving a general distress call. The computer shows that it is the freighter SS Patris, sir. Transferring to main view screen. 20 ships in range. This is the freighter Batris en route to New Bajor. We have been attacked. Warp engines are offline. Shields are failing. We require immediate assistance. Repeat, we need help from any friendly ship in range. <laughs> static, static. Okay, my static noise, noise needs work. Okay, that's better. We'll do that next time. Disregard my failure. There is no failure to see here. Continue. <laughs> Wrong franchise. <laughs> okay. So, it does look pretty good. I wish the highlights were a little bit darker and the hull was a little bit shinier. Also, these these escape pods just way too bright on the on the red stuff, on the red red lights. Don't really like that that much. Looks good otherwise. Still like the galaxy more. Okay. Hello everyone, um, I am Grimo of the USS Grotius and today I will be your disco party manager and I have no shield, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> okay, someone used some something to, to drop my shields apparently. Maybe it was a, a proc from uh, phaser weapons to drop my shield subsystems. Or maybe I did something completely fucking wrong. I have no fucking clue what happened. I have no clue what's going on, but it is not good. They're not doing a lot of damage. Huh. Ok, 
Okay. So, I forgot to set up my power, but... Hmm, that seemed like my weapons were draining a little bit too much. That was too close. Impulse engines are still online and my engineer is working on getting these shields operational. I think we can make it to the nearest space dock. Thank you, Admiral. I don't know what we'd have done without you. Continue. Admiral, several of the Kardashian ships broke away from the fight. They're setting a course for the nearby planet. Long-range scans show a sizable force of Kardashians and orbital platforms orbiting the planet, sir. They're protecting something and they're using a lot of firepower to do it. Magnesite ore. I really wonder what that was about. Why did my shields drop? Was it just a lucky proc from one of their weapons? Or what the hell would it happen? Uh, hello, Meretic. Welcome back to the stream. Uh, to defeat Kardashian squads. We've got a new sovereign class here. Aww. You're ruining my ship porn, Tevrel. Another time. Okay. Okay, we have a sovereign class. Looks okay. Mmm. Meh. Meh. Okay. <laughs> Admiral, I'm, I'm really poor at hiding, hiding my disappointment that I'm no, no longer flying a galaxy class starship. Yes, we are fighting Kim Kardashian. Uh, Hypophalacus. Um, apparently her butt is so big that it is the size of a planet and now they have orbital platforms to defend it. Admiral, we're being hailed by a Kardashian battleship. Do you want me to put the message on the main view screen? This system is sovereign territory of the true way. We are operating a licensed mining facility and your a licensed, licensed mining facility tapping that ass. Eyebrow wiggle. Uh, and your presence here is considered an act of war. Any attempt to approach the facility will be dealt with in kind. So if I approach the facility, they will also approach my facility. Sounds like some sort of... Uh, no, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> Let me get. Okay, okay, we have enemies. We have a lot of. Oh my god. Lots of enemies. Do I want to try and take them on at the same time? The answer is, of course, yes, because I'm going to explode in epic fashion and you're all going to laugh. <clears throat> so, my friends, without further ado, the epic destruction of a misguided. <laughs> Misguided Starfleet Captain in three, two, one. Wait, let's get that Gaylord class in range as well. And go. Disco party. Oh, come on. No fake hour oh, again. Eight facing. Resistance to drain. Because these guys apparently are draining a little bit. Doing much better than last engagement. Um, no, I don't need help. Thank you very much, Hypophalacus. I'm going to try and brave it on my own. Any resulting failures will then be <laughs> yours to uh, criticize. No, I'm just kidding. Don't criticize me or I'll ban you. <laughs> I'm just kidding about that too. Okay. Uh, seismic Stabilizer, Gaylor class. I think I'm gonna have to start uh, thinking about um, actually getting some some good gear. I don't know if I'll I'll wait to level 50 or maybe I'll just start looking into it now. Uh, after today's stream, though, I'm gonna think about it. Seems like it's not I'm not really 
cutting it with just what I find anymore. Okay, let's get as many platforms in range again. Hello to you too, Mr. Platform. Let's get your friends in on the disco party. Eh? Oh, I forgot to engage the disco party module. Disco party. Saturday Night Fever. Staying alive. I I I would like to um, start singing some BJ's, but <laughs> I have to draw the line somewhere. <clears throat> oh, you drank me, do you, Hyperfalacus? Well, sadly, this is Star Trek Online, and I don't have to do shit even if you do outrank me, <laughs> because court marshals are for sane people, not for people that play MMOs. <laughs> forget I said that <laughs> but it's uh, uh, it's actually like now that you mention it I'm gonna have to uh, talk about that a little bit in uh, in some downtime that that we find anything I need to loot here uh, Meritic asks what's your favorite Star Trek character data definitely data all the way I would marry him I would have a gay relationship with data or Brent Spinner Spiner if he was uh, eligible. Um, do -do -do -do. <laughs> uh, don't you dare ban a fleet admiral, says Hypophalacus. Okay. <laughs> I'm picking up some unusual energy signatures down there, sir. Records show a mining outpost in this system, but the facility on the planet is using a lot more power than a mining outpost would. I'm also detecting stockpiles of heavy metals that are not found in this system. I think it's worth checking out, sir, and uh, an away team can beam down at your command. Okay, let's beam down. So, I was saying, uh, coincidentally, regarding ranks, I have actually tried to do some Star Trek roleplay in Star Trek Online a few times, and it always seems to end up like, um, okay, um, we are a team because the Admiral said that we should do a joint strike force and you're gonna be from um, the Federation or the KDF side and I'm gonna bring my Romulan and we're gonna have a joint uh, strike force and then we're gonna follow this chain of command as if we were on the same side and we're gonna do these things and we're gonna do special ops and then we're gonna have some adventures it's gonna be fun but then the person comes back and says well actually I don't have to do anything of that uh, of that nature because I don't, uh, I don't I don't follow the chain of command. I don't uh, I don't take orders. But I am a captain. I am a captain. I have an official rank of captain. I don't take orders though. Ever. I just do my own thing. And um, the KDF just um, you know just goes along with that. They don't care. Don't care. No. The, they don't care that I don't take orders. So that's my uh, that's the way that my Static Online roleplay has gone so far, and apparently I can't do anything regarding the chain of command in any shape, way, or form, even as a setup to a roleplay, because chain of command doesn't compute on MMO players. Sad. Uh, Admiral, we should scan these buildings. If there is something hidden here, it's probably inside one of the uh, installations. Scan the buildings for hidden items. So, everyone wants to be Kirk or Picard when he went against his orders to not join in the battle against the Borg uh, in um, First Contact. But... Uh, they, a lot of people that play this game apparently don't understand that Kirk and Picard are the exceptions to the chain of command. They don't get court-martialed because they are exceptional captains and they make exceptional decisions that actually end up benefiting Starfleet more than if they had followed their orders. That's why they don't get court-martialed. Um, 
but apparently STO players I have met so far think that nobody needs to follow orders under any circumstances. And it's not like I try to uh, uh, impose my will upon anyone, uh, saying that I'm an admiral, let's, uh, you need to follow my orders, bitch. It's just, I can't even make a, a, good, uh, a good task force setup, because if I say, okay, the admiral um, put us together, so we have this uh, task force here, no. No orders ever for anyone playing Star Trek Online. From anyone, not even as a story setup. Uh, a bit disappointing, really. It, 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 I got into some really heated arguments about that. Like, um, went as far as to go... So, if you're in a combat situation, let's say, against the Borg, and everyone is fighting against the Borg. Will you observe the chain of command in that case? No. Um, so if, if someone takes command of the uh, fleet that is fighting a, a Borg cube, you're not going to follow orders and you're just going to do your own thing. Yep. That's what I have to work with uh, regarding Static Online uh, roleplay. So I don't do Static Online roleplay. <laughs> okay, that's enough ranting about that. Um, yep. Yep. Thank you, Elisa Flores, for the resurrection. Finally, an officer that does her job. Thank you. Let's see. Now these are some sorts of vats, I think. Scan buildings near mining site. I have done this mission before. Um, we're gonna have a little bit of an interesting surprise later. <clears throat> gonna meet some interesting characters. Pew, pew. Oh my god. Just die already. <laughs> okay, let's see what's down here. Ooh, it's just a huge hole. Hmm. Phaser beam turret. Oh, shit, I've, I've not been using my skills that I've gotten. Let's just try out... Um, let's see, what sort of damage values do I have? Current on mine barrier is still doing 208 damage. And 492 because I lost the uh, demolitions bonus I had had on the other kit. Oh well. Let's see what does the dome look like. Me. 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 We also have the seeker dome which I should really be using soon. Okay. Scan building. Admiral, this appears to be the main mining facility. Scans show that it is a standard ore extraction facility with stockpiles of valuable trace alloys. Okay, okay, interesting. Let's go this way. Let's see what the seeker drone looks like. Probably, yeah, about the same as the support drone. Hmm. Oops, Uzimat has the wrong skills, of course. Everyone has the wrong skills. Great! Just what I wanted to hear. 
Okay, let's uh, give them back these skills that I actually want them to have. Vascular Regenerator, Nanite Health Monitor, <sighs> Coles, Overwatch 2, you're my tank. Suppressing Fire, that's exactly what you need to have, and okay. And you are missing some skills. Okay. <clears throat> Alisa is fine though because she's always using the defaults. Fine. Okay. Now we're back to, back on track. <laughs> Lost uh, four viewers just from reassigning my skills. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna try and set up here and see if I can make any sort of use out of the um, dome. Let's see. What does this do for me? does seem to provide me with some resistance. Not much else otherwise. Yeah. Situational skill. Situational skill. So, um, force field dome. The dome grants all allies inside bonus damage resistance and pushes enemies outside of the area. Indeed. Let's um, fit something else though. Do the quantum mortar or beam turret? I'll do mortar. I like the mortar more. Okay. Lots of damage right there. Hmm. <laughs> There's a lot of drones I could have, actually. Uh, there's... I think there's at least one other drone kit module. I think there might be two. So it would be nice to roam around with uh, drones that could uh, maybe make up for the engineer's innate lack of mobility with setting up and stuff. But um, there's an anchor drone. Sensors show that uh, this is some sort of housing facility, sir. Maybe a barracks. There is no one inside at the moment. We should move on. So there's an anchor drone that is Mark 11 or 12, which I already have bought on one of my other characters. Just waiting for this one to get uh, leveled up to give it to him. And I think there's at least one other uh, combat drone that I could get like this uh, seeker drone that I'm using now. And of course the support drone I always have. I'm curious, does the cooldown on the support drone ever go down? I swear I saw people who were having several of these active at the same time, several support drones. It's just two minutes. Hmm. Disappoint. Okay. Hello! I come bearing candy! Have some explosive candy! Come on, just step on it, you'll love it! Nice! 
Oh, not so nice. I'm getting murdered. <laughs> Ouchies. <laughs> I drew in another group by accident. Okay, respawn and try that again. Okay. We didn't even kill one of them. How embarrassing! And... Orbital Strike. Mm, didn't hit them. Disappoint. Looks like the um, the drones also serve an interesting function as decoys. If you saw there, the enemy actually uh, tried to stun one of my drones instead of focusing on one of one of my other characters, which I think did serve me very well. the building. Sensors show that this is some sort of housing facility, sir. Maybe a barracks. There is no one inside at the moment. We should move on. Give me those, those goodies. Mmm, delicious power cells. Okay, we have more Kardashians up here. They're not very friendly. Good side about that is I might be able to do a orbital strike on them without drawing their aggro. Maybe. Maybe. No guarantees though, sadly. There we go. Nice hit. Go forth and kill them, my minions. Uh, okay, attack. These wide open spaces don't really make for good choke points to lay down mines, sadly. Maybe I should slot the beam turret too. Uh. Mm, probably. Too bad I don't have a, a kit with a flexible uh, slot. There are higher level kits with universal slots and you can slot one or the other module. Um, if I had one of those, I would, for example, take out the transphasic bomb right now and I would put in a beam to it. That would serve me a lot better in this particular type of map. Afraid I don't have that option. Um, scan building. The energy readings uh, I'm picking up here suggest a communications facility. The transmissions have been scrambled, Admiral. That's out of the ordinary for a 
mir a mining outpost. Let's see what the away team is saying. Admiral, this appears to be a standard industrial replication facility. That's the other building we scanned earlier, I guess. Readings indicate that nearly all of the ore mined here is transformed to this facility for use in fabrica fabricating some sort of large components. I'll send this data to the ship for further analysis. Admiral, my readings indicate that the Kardashians are indeed mining here, but they're using the mine material to replicate ship parts, lots of ship parts. It's as if they were preparing for military mobilization. I recommend we investigate the uh, replication facility, sir. Alrighty, let's go back down. Hmm. Go back down the fast way. Luckily, there is almost no fall damage in this uh, game. Mining for secrets. Uh oh. Um. Oops, I dodged right into a grenade. <laughs> that was not a good idea. Our tank went down first, as usual. Next, followed by our major DPS. I do like that uh, order, though. That's why I keep two support classes. Um, I, I always know the order in which people are going to start dying unless something really dumb happens. So tank first, uh, DPS second, or if I'm playing tactical, me second, <laughs> then the DPS and then the two support classes. So I can plan accordingly. Okay, let's go into the replication facility. I'm curious if the drones will follow in or if they're gonna be left at the door. Probably will be left. Let's see though. Might be some sort of a buff on yourself, so they might come with. No, nope, didn't. Admiral, I'm detecting active defenses throughout this facility. We should carefully disengage them as we advance. I'm also picking up multiple industrial replicators. They must be using these to fabricate the ship parts they are stockpiling. I think we should shut this operation down, sir. Okay, well, guess who's back? Welcome back, Hayden. Well, I'm gonna just tell you, I'm really bad at doing this mission. <laughs> I have no fucking clue what I'm doing here. Last time I did it, every single one of these um, uh, security grids I accidentally triggered. So, uh, the, the, okay. Field generator. Okay, I'm gonna have to shoot this. Okay. And then disable the security beam. Huh? It, did that work? What am I. <gasps> it worked! <gasps> oh, there's Kardashians. Okay. Um, let's drop some turrets. I will drop some mines here at the corner if there's no invisible wall stopping me. Okay. And... I wonder if them passing through the field will trigger it. Let's see. I have no idea. Doesn't look like it. I'm not going to engage the drones because I don't want them to accidentally go through the field either. Oh my god. One of them. Oh shit. I uh, for completely forgot to engage the transphasic bomb. Missed the prime opportunity there to kill these two guys with the, the bomb. Oh well. Looks like the controls are in this room. Okay. Um... I just keep this setup, I suppose. Drop the mortar and other things.
Hello everyone, I am Starfleet and I am here to shut down your operation. Just remain silent and put your hands behind your head and I'm gonna pat you down and we can get this over with quickly. Or not. And I have my phaser on auto repeat again, which is a bad idea if I want to lure people over. <laughs> I'm afraid, cover shield. Now they can't get me. Yuck, 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 yuck. Let's see. Uh, nope, they destroyed my tennis basic bomb again. Boo! Boo! At least the mortars are having a field day with this corner. Okay. No auto repeat. Hello, goodbye. <laughs> Much better this time. Get away! <laughs> the brave Starfleet captain. Ha! Huh. With explosives. Okay, I think we cleared that room entirely, so let's see what we can find in there. Mm -hmm. Console. Sabotage. <laughs> yeah, that's some subtle sabotage right there. Just hit it with your fist until it starts smoking. Good job. Sir, it appears that our actions have opened several secure doors in this facility. I also am detecting a command and control center. If we can destroy that, it would set back the True Ways military mobilization. Okay. Let's see how badly we can fuck this up. <laughs> Uh oh, Jim Hadar. Okay. Hello, Jim Hadar. Let me just welcome you with some bombs. I heard you like bombs, so I put some bombs on top of your bombs, so you can bomb while your bomb is bombing your bombs. And bomb. Very good. If you would like some more bomb with your bomb, I can actually do bombs in bombs, uh, on top of bombs, with bombs, at level 50. Which is my goal. My goal is bombs on top of bombs with bombs. Using bombs as the bomb trigger, of course. Uh -huh. There we go. Oh. And this is the perfect place for another ambush. Uh, let's set up maybe around here ish. Cole is Elisa Flores, very good. Oh, what's that? Ah, surprise ambush, eh? I would have done orbital strike on them, but now it's too late. They were nicely grouped up too. Small hypo. Beam turret. Quantum mortar. Okay, we're all set up. Let's plant some bombs. Trans phasic bomb. Wait for the cycle on my own mines. Ok, 
go. Let's start luring people in. And by people I mean everyone in the entire room. Hello. And now run away! Activate drones. Oh, the drones are going too far out. But it does look like a lot of people are exploding, which is nice. Always like to see a lot of people exploding, uh, as long as they're my enemies, I mean. Okay, the drones are just fighting on their own. Let's go and help. Invisible Jem Hadar. Uh oh, enemy mines. Chibbles. I don't want the Tribbles to eat my stuff, so I'm gonna release them back into the wild. Let's see. Sabotage. Destroy the control room, okay. Um, I don't think mines can destroy inanimate objects like this. Actually they can, nice, 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 okay. Let's plant a transphasic bomb here. And watch the fireworks. I said watch the fireworks. I said watch the fireworks. Any day now. Fire... Uh. No? No? Oh, come on. Let's just use the transphasic bomb, I guess. And watch the fireworks. Ah. <sighs> There we go. <laughs> Delayed the reaction. <laughs> uh, return to your ship. Okay. Admiral, several Jem'Hadar ships have arrived and they are powering up weapons. We need. Uh, we have a transporter lock on the away team and will energize at your command, sir. Beam up. Yes, I can shoot it, but it's not as exciting. It's not as ex as exciting as watching it explode. Into a million tiny pieces. Flaming tiny pieces. Sir, sensors indicate an approaching fleet made up of both Jim Hadar and Kardashian ships. Recommend we prepare for combat. Okay, time to die bravely. Uh, maybe. Uh oh. Okay, hello, and how about you have some of this? I heard you like lasers. So guess what? This is a disco party. Looks like you're having a lot of fun. <laughs> okay. Doing better than I expected. Okay. Regen some shields. Uh, two-way squadrons. Where are the... Oh, there we go. Just do a little impulse burst. And the 
last one is where? Hmm? Oh, there we go. Passive maneuvering. Let's do the Grimo maneuver. Aha! You are caught! Right in my trap. Do a very, very slow turn and engage the other nice abilities that we have on the ship before going back to the broadside. The factional fleet. I guess that's the. You defeated the True Way fleet. That's the mission uh, achievement. Admiral, we should notify Starfleet Command about this immediately. If the Jem'Hadar and Kardashians are working together, they may have more hidden bases and far more sinister plans for the Federation. The Jem'Hadar may even be in contact with the Changelings. That would be a bit of a stretch, but uh, okay, sure. Depart system. Nice. I'm gonna have to fix the lighting after this. Let's turn in the mission first. Oh, forging bonds. So the true way is looking for allies. That could be a real problem for a uh, real problem for Starfleet. The true way are terrorists, Grimo. They are desperate to drive us out of Kardashian space, and they want everything to be exactly like it was before the uh, the Dominion War. They want to rule with fear, and they'll hurt anyone to get what they want, even their own people. I'm going to need your help to keep this situation contained. 4.3k EXP. And a bunch of stuff that I probably won't be using, because I don't like any of these weapons. I hear people swearing by the phaser sniper, uh, sniper rifles in general in this game, but I don't really like them that much. I don't know. Maybe it would be useful to do as a as a as an engineer. Full auto rifle would be nice. Character bind on pickup. Ninety one DPS. Ooh, stun beam setting. Full auto sweep. I want to equip this on one of my bridge officers then. Uh, which one should I have? I'll just take the phaser. Okay. So the next one will be the long night. Interesting. But before that, we're gonna take a very short break.